Hi everyone, I'm Kim and welcome back to my channel. Let's get right into the conversation. It's all about quiet luxury and why is quiet luxury having a moment? Now, quiet luxury, I believe, started trending based off of the old money aesthetic that was happening on TikTok like two years ago. It was such a huge trend on TikTok where people were dressing up in their outfits to kind of like emulate old money. Um, most of it was actually coming from finding and picking pieces at like your nun old money stores and using those pieces to create an old money outfit that trend really took off and i think from there it kind of just merged into like what it is a quiet luxury aesthetic the quiet luxury lifestyle as far as it relates to fashion now when you think quiet luxury you're also thinking about trust funds inheritances uh estates private jets Certain places screams quiet luxury, Monte Carlo, St. Bart's, the Hamptons, lots of places around the world just screams quiet luxury and usually was reserved for the wealthiest of the wealthy, the top 1%. Um, if you're familiar with the show Succession on HBO, it is like the poster child right now for quiet luxury and there's a lot of debate going on on social media about Succession. On one side, people are saying, look, this is not fashion. These people are wealthy, rich, based on the show, but they have no style. And that's what happens in the real world. On the other side, some people are like, you know what? This is amazing quality, this is great clothing. Um, I would love to afford it, or I can afford it, or whatever it is. So there's like a little mixture of a debate of what people are thinking is worthy of quiet luxury. Is it worth it? Should people be oohing and aahing about it? So everyone has their own opinion, but just to give you a little bit of backstory where that's coming from, that's where quiet luxury is coming from. Okay, so I want to talk about who quiet luxury is for. Um, I find that for the most part, the people that gravitate and appreciate quiet luxury are usually the people who have elevated their lives, who have started to kind of like look for a new way to appreciate new things. Most times it's because they can afford a little bit more or they're now in a different circle. It could be a work circle, it could be a social circle, it could be a family circle. As you see in Succession, like look at Greg. I mean, if you guys watch Succession, then you know Greg's story. Remember Greg with that 40K watch? <laughs> Look, that show is really funny in a very sarcastic, wealthy, uh, tone talk type of way. But it is a good show though. I love how it's written and I love the cast. I do wish the cast was just much more better looking. I'm sorry, I know you shouldn't say that, but I'm thinking it's I'm saying it. I wish the cast was better looking. The clothing would look so much better on them. But nonetheless, they are excellent, excellent actors and I'll take excellent actors any day over looks. <laughs> Now, who is quiet luxury not for? I don't think quiet luxury is for the trendy girls. If you're into trends and you love rolling with what's happening, uh, season to season, year to year, I don't think quiet luxury is necessarily for you because it can get really boring. Um, for the people who are into like the classic and the timeless pieces, that's for you because when you think about quiet luxury, it's a lot, there's a price tag on there of course, but there's a lot more about the quality that is put into making these clothing. The quality of wool, the quality of the cashmere, the quality of the silk. And those things do feel better on your skin than let's say mass produced clothing. So if you're really into that, plus they can withstand washes, if you wash them based on how they say you should, um, ironing, just over time they will retain their structure, their shape, and the way they fit and feel. So in essence, in many ways, some items are absolutely worth it. I'll do another video on staple items for quiet luxury and some just aren't, but it's up to you. But if you're a trendy person, trendy girl, trendy guy, I don't think quiet luxury is necessarily for you or maybe one or two pieces. Let's talk about brands. Brands that are part of the quiet luxury, the poster for quiet luxury. You have like Laura Piana, which is like one of the top ones, Brunella Cuccinelli, Another top one, Hermes. Hermes is usually so much more identifiable, especially people can really easily identify a Birkin, a Kelly, but Hermes has a lot, a big catalog of other products that is only kind of like a if you know, you know. And if you know, you know, doesn't necessarily mean you own it or you buy it, but it's like your investment in learning and appreciating the brand. Like with Hermes, I study so much of their bags. I literally will be out and I'll tap my husband on the shoulder. I'm like, oh my gosh, check out that bag. And he was like, what? And I'm like, it's a 
Hermes, it's the Hermes, whatever, Picotin. The Picotin is becoming more popular, but then there is like the, the Rutil, Rutil, Rutilis? Oh my gosh, I should know how to pronounce it. But we spotted one the other day, we were in UPS, and I was like, babe, that bag starts at $7,500. And he was like, what? I'm like, yeah, it looks so nice. It was so beautiful. It was a black one this woman was carrying. Another time I was out with my girlfriends, and this lady on it was just so unassuming but because i look at those bags over and over and over and kind of like research them and get into them um that's how i know but it's not that because i own them i do own them. but outside of the bags it's the clothing it's the clothing it's the shoes it's the jewelry it's a lot of those things um other brands that are in the quiet luxury category that are not so super expensive is like ralph lauren you can get Ralph Lauren pieces that has been like a years, decades, generations of like quite luxury as far as where Ralph Lauren is concerned. Um, there's Max Mara, pricey nonetheless, but definitely quite luxury. There's the Row. Um, a lot of other brands out there that you can really find really high made quality pieces that will last you for a very long time that can be categorized in the quiet luxury category. And so coming off of the back of some of those brands is the question, does quiet luxury needs to be expensive? I personally do not think that quiet luxury has to be expensive. My personal opinion on quiet luxury is that it has to be well made with the best or almost the best material that you can get on it. Like take for example, you can find a couple cashmere and cashmere blend pieces at Macy's, like a sweater that is probably like 150. Um, it might not be the highest, best level cashmere, but it's close to it and you can have that piece for a very long time. Also, quiet luxury comes in the form of not really being printed. You know, if you love your bold prints and especially bold color prints, that might not be in a quiet luxury store. Um, I love color. I love print, but I'm particular to my prints. I don't like small, tiny, fine prints. I like big prints, but I might not find those pieces in the quiet luxury store. Now I'm saying all of this to say that quiet luxury does not need to be expensive. You can really define that for yourself. There are beautiful pieces you can shop at Zara, H&M, um, uh, Abercrombie, so many places that are very much your trendy stores that you could pick pieces from and kind of accentuate them, especially if you're into luxury pieces. Like for me, I love my luxury in my shoes, my bags, a uh, couple jewelry and a couple of my belts and a little bit of accessories like scarves or so. And for that, I can easily get like a really beautifully, nicely made dress from H&M, style it with my belt, my bag, my shoes, and that's a full quiet luxury outfit. Um, even though the item is really inexpensive, but you can define quiet luxury for yourself. You can like dress it up how you want and define what that looks like. And so the debate online, as to you know the middle class or even the upper middle class doesn't belong in the quiet luxury category or shouldn't go for those pieces of clothing or whatever who are we to tell people that you know define you do you pick what's right for you pick what works for you but my high recommendation is always be to try to find quality pieces even if you're into trends and even if you're into shopping um, at our trendy stores. I shop at all the trendy stores. Let me tell you, I'll find a couple pieces here and there, but I do look forward to, and I do own a few really good investment pieces. And I usually do those in particular pieces. I'll do another video to break that down. Um, but yeah, that's just my take on quite luxury. Let me know in the comments your take is this a space you want to enter in? Is this a space you want to elevate your style to? Or are you like, bye, who cares? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. We're gonna keep this conversation going and I'll share a couple more videos coming up on Quiet Luxury. Thank you guys for watching. See you soon, bye.